Oh, g'day my friends, uh, Marty here from uh, Marty's Garden. I'll tell you what, it's cold this morning. I don't have a temperature gauge, so I'm not sure, but it's chilly, I've got a few layers on, even my special jackets come out. And I wanted to get this video to you today to show you something that I built a couple of weeks back, because I haven't had time to film it. Lots has been going on with Shirley just turning up, some stuff going on with my daughter at high school, and different things and today I was gonna do even more but the car broken down it wouldn't start yesterday something to do with a cold coil um, these cold blue sky nights it's just not liking it so mobile mechanic today to get that done but in between this I still want to keep videos getting videos out for you guys and showing you what's going on because I don't want you to miss anything and I thought in between the sub pod series, so we've got the sub pod over there and there's all this beautiful rocket growing around the outside of it in the bales, which is another thing that's just absolutely insane. But we're talking above ground worm farm, building out and introducing compost worms and bringing in the native fungi and native earthworms to build soil all around part of my garden so I'm going to take you over there have a good look at it and show you what I'm doing because this is so easy you can do this too now you don't have to have bales if you can build layers like no dig you can do this exactly the same let's head over shall we so this is the above ground worm farm now I've left a link up here and down below if you want to watch and learn about that, I'm not going to go over that too much again in this video, but I've extended out onto it. Really awesome. These are bales going outside. As I said, you don't have to have bales. You can just build no dig gardens around the outside and have something like this. So you can be above ground or underground with a sub pot. But this one I really like because I can come through and pull it out harvest from it i can make money from the castings i can breed a lot of worms in here and i can grow over the top of it in summer it's going to be fully covered with steaks and things and tomatoes and stuff and i'll just walk in under the shade and open the lid and get to the worms it's pretty exciting i'll just give you a look at one of the bales over here so you can see what's going on and i'm building soils guys really exciting and it just takes a little bit of time and a bit of patience but well worth it so you can see one of the bales here right it's covered in compost it's connected to the ground i put cardboard all around to stop any grass and weeds and things coming through made sure that was sort of a bit of moisture locked into it and i'm just wetting it down hasn't been any rain to sort of wet it down more than i'd like so Every time I water the garden, just wetting, wetting it down and getting it ready to get nice and moist. And then I'm going to start planting all different types of plants in it. First, I'll start off with just leafy greens and strawberries, different things like that. But I'm waiting for the summer sun to sort of get connected in here a bit more. And once these worms start moving up and down in here, they'll be feeding a lot more. They're breeding in here. The earthworms will come through. They'll be tilling all this area around here, coming up in here, grabbing food growing food out of the bales. Now you don't have to have bales, as I've said, this is the third time now. You can do this just by layering, building no dig layer gardens and attract all the earthworms and fungi in here and not have to dig, you just plant in and when you harvest, you leave the roots in the system. Don't pull the roots out, leave them in there, let them rot down and become a whole part of this and then just throw more layers in and then eventually once it gets going, dig a couple of holes and plant. Throw more layers, so compost, mulch, plant. And mulch around the outside of it, a bit like I've done. I've got all these leaves here. There was a local arborist turned up the other day down the street, hit him up, said drop it in my front yard and it's getting all loaded around my area here to build out this permaculture zone. This is gonna be connected to the permaculture zone, which is coming up in future videos if you hang on and keep watching the story as it develops here now if you've got any questions or any comments or anything like that it's just a quick one to show you what I'm doing 
so you can get an understanding more about sort of no dig permaculture systems that can be done in small large spaces very simply easy systems that you don't have to manage too much you just have to keep building soils and they just get better and better like a fine wine anyway i'm marty ware from marty's garden happy everything we'll see you at the next video real soon stay tuned for the sub pod series because i'm still building out guys we're just a little bit behind with it bye for now